12 people were arrested on Friday for multiple charges of drugs and weapons. The anti-gang unit here in Texas, which is made up of the Sheriff's Department, Lubbock Police and DPS, made one of their biggest busts. The 12 people you see on your screen, one of them even being featured on the top 10 most wanted gang fugitives. Our Emily Harrison caught up with the Sheriff's Department today about these charges. Emily, they say drugs are now, as always, a huge problem in town. That's true, Cherry. He said, the sheriff said, that they caught these people through multiple traffic stops in a house warrant, stopping them from distributing illegal weapons and drugs. But the sheriff says that the drug situation here in Lubbock is a lot more serious than people realize. Uh, there's no question it is it has been doing nothing but intensifying. Rose says the gangs in Lubbock are the reason why drugs are so prevalent. All of our active gangs operating in Lubbock, their primary function is the distribution of narcotics for the cartels, period. They created the Texas Anti-Gang Center in order to stop both the gangs and the drugs, but say the gangs are also changing how they work to fight the tag center. What we've been seeing more over in the last few years, which is the crossover of how these particular gangs operate more so together. It was all too many years ago that you didn't see those, those lines getting crossed. Sheriff Rowe says it can be difficult tracking the gangs down, and that's why they wait to make arrests. Once it's announced that we've, you know, or once you see major arrests occurs and everything else, well, they start closing, you know, those, those larger organizations start closing off those uh, connections. The Tag Center hopes to make even more arrests connected to drugs and gang members. But with 1,700 gang members listed in Lubbock, it can be difficult. But we're finally getting a hold of more concrete data. You know, we're actually seeing that. You know, unfortunately, if you go back just a few short years, we weren't tracking gang members to the to the level we track them now. But then even heroin is coming in in much larger quantities than we've ever seen it historically. And this is you know this is coming from investigators that have been working 20 plus years in in that field here locally into what we're seeing today.